Hi everybody! My name is Jackie Myers. I'm a senior here at Bradley University and I'm majoring in journalism and double minoring in entrepreneurship and social media marketing. And I'm the news anchor for BUTV News, which is what we're getting ready for now. So I'm going to give you a little tour about that and show you how we get set up. If you have any questions while we go through this, feel free to leave them in the section next to us and um, I'll try my best to answer all your questions. So I'm the anchor one, so this is my designated spot where I always get to sit every Wednesday. Our show is at 6 o'clock every Wednesday, and we stream it live on YouTube, as well as in the dorm rooms, they can watch it on our local station. So I have um, the script on a tablet for me for when I get started. Um, this is just so you should never really go on live television without having a backup plan in case, you know, the teleprompter, which I'll show you a little later, goes out or any technical glitches happens, we have the script right here so we can, the show must go on. So we can keep going with that. Um, I also have an IFB, which is the, you know, the secret service type of thing that goes in the ears that you see um, that news anchors wear and reporters. It's so that the people in the back who are doing all the magic of the cameras and the microphones and all that can tell us if something's going on or if we need to talk a little longer or in a real news studio, if there was breaking news, they would tell you through this thing not to interrupt the rest of this newscast, but to have you give that. So, um, and... In addition to all that, we have the screen up down here. If you want to come over here, I can show you. It just really helps us be able to see what's going on online when you're watching. Right now, it doesn't show anything, but there is a screen down here that will show me or whatever's on camera. And like I said, this is just so we know we can see us, we can see what's going on, make sure we're in shot, make sure everything else is good. Um, but now I'm going to show you the rest of the studio. So. As you can see, we have these TVs all around the, that surround the table. And the TVs just have, you know, stock video of around campus and around Peoria that match the season. And so that's just to give you the shots a little more uh, movement so they're not just still when you watch it on air. And it's all stuff around Peoria. So it's very local. <laughs> um, so as you will see our set here, this is our table where I was just sitting. This entire set was donated by a, a news organization or a news station. Uh, so it's an old news station set that we got. So it's very professional, looks very official. Um, so, and these are our cameras. They're all HD. We have three of them. You'll see they're, they're really big, really heavy. Um, this is our teleprompter. So when we sit on set, we will be reading the teleprompter. It reflects onto here so that we can read it. Um, and when we go back, you'll get to see how they run the teleprompter back there um, and all of that jazz. So there's a camera operator for each camera. And then we have two floor directors. And so the floor directors are the people who can communicate. They'll have little headphones on and a microphone. They communicate with the people in the back, as well as tell us when our cue is to go, or if there's 30 seconds left, or you need to wrap it up, or anything like that. They're also out here. Um, so I said that I was anchor one. We have a second anchor. We have a news anchor, or I'm sorry, we have a a sports anchor and an entertainment reporter um, that all get to come on set and then if we come over here we also have a weatherman and so he'll get that green screen it will come down and it will show the weather map well you'll see the weather map on your end but he'll still see the green screen and then this cam or this uh, TV will show um, what the green screen is showing on your side. So uh, he'll have it turned towards him so he can make a generalized statement that there's going to be rain over in this area of Illinois. That's why they're so broad is because they can't really see it. They have to kind of generically point towards that area. Um, so this is just for that as well as we can see if when we do live shots they will uh, show us on that as well as what we're seeing on air will see us and it's just another extra cue in case the camera light goes off or the floor director is busy listening to them and forgets to give us a cue or something like that it's just another extra cushion to make sure that we know what's going on now over here is a little extra set um, BUTV doesn't specifically use this set but we use it a lot for classes to practice interviewing so you'll have the interviewer sitting on one side and the interviewee sitting on the other side and they'll talk between the fern. Um, 
And we also move the chairs away and the fern and the table, bring down the disco ball. And this is usually the area where we have our musical guests. So at the end of BUTV every night, we have a musical guest perform and it's usually a student or a local uh, band or student, something like that. Um, and they get to share their music on air and lots of people get to see it. And it's really fun, but everyone's so talented. So this is Ethan, he's the other anchor. Hi. <laughs> So we're gonna go down the hallway. So this is the green room. So whenever we have, you know, talent like Ethan, or if we have somebody that's coming in to be interviewed, uh, they'll come and hang out here until we're ready for them to come on set. Uh, same with the musical guests. They usually come in here and wait. Uh, we also have a TV in there so they can um, see the live show that's going on right there. And that's so they know their cue when to come in, or if they just want to hang out and watch how the show's going, they just watch it there. But we're going to go back to the control room areas. So over here, this is where all the audio magic happens. And this is Danielle, and she's going to talk a little bit about the audio and what she does for the show. Okay, so basically, I'm the audio op. So I cue the mics, I get mic checks, I play the music, I play sounds for commercials, and I also do live shots as well. So basically we catch mics here, say if they're wireless, um, and technically for our like music performances, we usually patch mics here with these cords and you know connect them out in the studio. Um, I think that's basically it. <laughs> yeah. So she does all, she's the one that makes us sound good, yeah. basically. <laughs> well, thank you, Danielle. Okay, so then we're gonna go over here, and this is Master Control. And so Matt's gonna talk to you a little bit more about what he does during the show for Master Control. Sure. Uh, Master Control uh, basically takes the, the work that the students make, um, we call them tapes, um, and we roll them back during the show. Uh, everything I do is not live, so like I said, it's it's basically pre-recorded, uh, pre-edited, um, and I just have a list of everything, and I roll everything back, um, video-wise. Um, we also in here control the cameras, the colors, how bright they are, how dark they are. Um, all the recording is done in here. Um, that's about it. Yeah. So. All the video and stuff, he makes us look good and make sure that it looks good later on. So we're gonna go over here. So this is where the real magic, magic happens. So we have Sean, who is our producer. So could you talk a little bit more about your producing role for BUTV? Um, so as a producer, I kind of um, organize the whole show every week. I, um, we don't have, we have writers for the show, but I help compile stories, uh, make sure we have all the spots filled for the week, um, help pick the talent and our anchors at the beginning of the semester, and basically just kind of create a 30 minute show every week, and so I'm in here in the studio every Wednesday from about 1.30 till 7.30 or so, finalizing the show, going over it with our director, going over the CGs, which is the computer graphics, um, basically making sure everything's ready to go at 6 o'clock so we can air and be live. Thank you so much, Sean. Okay, so then we hear a lot going on. We're going to go break it down a little bit. So we're going to talk to Renee over here. Renee in charge of all the graphics. So could you talk a little bit more about what goes into the graphics, what you used to during the show, and how you prep for the show? So prepping for the show, I usually get here about 4.30, and um, they give me the CG list, and I just um, have this handy dandy program, and put them all in, and during the show, um, I send them over to the technical director, and she puts them on air, and they go on and off, so it's, it's pretty good. Could you explain what a CG is for them? 
Um, a CG. So, so here's the whole I'll list of CGs. And it's and fun okay. stuff. So it's like the um, over the shoulders that you see on um, on the camera and stuff, and it has like everything they're talking about CG. So we have the lower third CG of um, the two anchors that come right out, and um, just basically gives the names of who's um, on air and what's going on on the show. So. Yeah, and then the weather graphics. The graphics are cool. And so that's, um, that's Sam. Like, like, so all of his graphics. Right, do those. You get those offline and put them on the here. And we have the five-day forecast. Okay, so Looks pretty Charles sunny. I'm pretty excited. Yeah. Yeah. So like I was telling you guys, the green screen. The one the person doesn't see, they just see the green and the side. Oh, sure. Renee is so the one that will cue right. those graphics so that Sam's not like, oh, I don't know what the weather is anymore. <laughs> she has it up for him on that screen. Okay. And then as you can see, Dave is going through the teleprompter with our student and uh, you have to go through this is how fast we like yeah it. <laughs> you have to read it that fast what no so um okay, so yeah usually with the teleprompter they have to listen to like how um the anchors or anybody else that's on air how their speech pattern is so that they can kind of match it so they don't go too fast or they go too slow um they don't really they try not to lead you to go that fast they try to follow you so that it's easier for you to read and go along and the audience can understand it so we're going to talk to Kathy. for a while and then we'll come back up to camera Okay. Kathy, can you talk I'll, about I'll a little more what your goal is with the right show and what all of this is? Or so basically, right, so I do thing, yeah. everything that our director, Christina, tells me to do. So I'm taking all the shots to air, whatever she calls them. All the CGs, I control when they go in, when they go out. So anytime you see something take to air, basically I'm pressing all the buttons, following her directions to make sure it's all on there and looks okay. Yeah. So whenever there's a camera change, that's Captain going, this camera is going. Whenever anything goes in on the screen or whenever camera changes, there's always somebody pushing the button to get there. That's what I'm doing. Very stressful. And then over here we have Kristen. Who is Christina. Christina. I'm so sorry. I was very close. I was very close. Typical talent doesn't Yeah. Okay. I'm Sorry, I was very close. But anyways, she is our director. So she was going to talk a little bit more about her role on this show. Uh, so my role, I work very closely with Sean, the producer, and I kind of help and make sure he has everything ready for the show. And, you know, I ask him, you know, make sure he, um, we're both on the same page of who's reading what story, what videos and stories we're going. And then I make sure I have all my commands ready to tell everyone else what to do during the show. So I can tell Catherine to put up a certain camera and to make sure our audio op have all the mics open and I'm kind of the one just telling everyone what to do <laughs> and when things go wrong it's generally my fault <laughs> so yeah this is we're a little close but this is kind of the backstage of this Woo! all the cords <laughs> um, the behind the scenes of how the show operates so if we want to go back towards the hallway Go back out. Okay. 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 Like this is our entertainment reporter. How are you? She does all the Hollywood coverage. Um, and then this is John. John is our sports reporter. Yep. What are you talking about today? Talking about some Bradley basketball because it's back, fam. <laughs> Men's and women's. Woo! Go Braves. Yes, go Braves. So we're going to get ready in a little bit with Sam. Um, and so yeah, so we're gonna go back into the studio. And so, hey Rachel, this Hello. Rachel is one of our floor Hi. directors. Like I talked to you guys earlier, she's the one that you know gives us all the cues. She's the one that talks to the controls back there. So you talk a little bit more about floor directing and why you wanted to do it. Um, well, TV arts is my major, and I just thought it was a really fun thing to be involved with to like get some experience before going into the actual class. And it's just great to work with all these fun people. So, and it's like a different show every time. So, you never know what's going to happen. It's great. <laughs> yeah. So, she, you're a club volunteer, right? Yes. You're not in the class. So, BUTV, which is what we are getting ready for, is actually a club slash a class. So, um, you can be any major and be on the show. Um, so, you don't have to be a con major. You can be doing whatever you want. And if you want to be on air or you want to be a reporter or anything like that, you can totally do that. Or if you want to be like Rachel and be a floor director <laughs> or do cameras, they'll teach you how to do that and you can totally have fun doing that. Um, usually, the class does a majority of the behind the scenes of the technical stuff that I showed you earlier. Um, but yeah, it's really fun. I've been involved in it since freshman year and I'm now a senior. So, 
obviously I love it and it's super fun and it's definitely what sold me on Bradley. So, um, we're tuning in that live shot. If you want to. Oh, okay. Should we go back there to see it? Sure. Okay. So we're going to go see our live shot. We're going, we have a live interview. So they're going to, um, he's got two mics hooked up for this, right, Jordan? This one's a package. So is there like a specific, oh, okay. like 9-11 and stuff? Go ahead and pot, which one is hooked up then? No, that's, that's why I need to know. Because I need to know how long my package is. The, uh, the wireless one? Or the direct one? Okay, so Daniel, bring up channel two. He's talking to the person that's setting that up thing. the live shot in the student center. So um, they're like on the phone together and he's talking to them through the microphone, which is why it's weird that he's not talking to us right now. But he's actually talking uh, to Jordan, who's setting up the camera and the talent and making sure that they're all ready. Um, that's what's going on in the preview. And then uh, they'll practice it a little bit in, in a second. And uh, it'll be really cool. Are you here? Did, did you press the live button over there yeah. behind you, yeah. Danielle? Yeah. 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 There yeah, you go. Was really? that I don't remember. Like, okay, have him talk to us. Yeah. 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 Okay. So what we're doing is we're tuning in what's called a live shot, which Why? is uh, a live camera that we have across the the campus in the student center. We're doing a live report from there uh, to interview with somebody. I think somebody in charge of the college Republicans. I don't know. I don't know. They're going to gloat, I think. <laughs> yes, yes, we do hear it. That's channel two. So if we could just get a quick live shot or a quick check on the wireless mic, even just you could talk into it. So pot up channel one, Danielle. I was on this list at some point to avoid the image. Jake, has Jordan said anything about the talent training? No. He's in high school. And then see this one. You good with that? Okay. So Danielle will be channel one with the who's gonna wear what? Jordan. Okay. Okay, so channel one will be Oh, I'm on Twitter. Hi buddy. Turn that off, Danielle. There we go. So channel one will be the. Oh, that's hard. With the delay. Channel one will be the. Floor director. Yeah, yeah. We have two, so. So just kind of hit both at this time. Yeah, we're having two. We got one and one and three and one and one. Okay. okay that's so good. they're gonna get ready for the live shot. And they just practice, make sure that you hear everything, right? We do. We just make sure that everything works. This is what they do at an actual TV station. Um, our little live shot mechanism works just over the campus network. We can actually go off campus as well, um, but on campus is a little easier for us. So it just works over the internet and beams the signal back in real time here, and we can do what a real TV station does, which is kind of neat. It's a great experience yeah, for anybody that wants to go in to, you know, the TV world. So it's awesome yeah. that we have something like yeah, that here at Bradley. So I think we're going to go back into the studio. Okay, yeah. I'll talk to you later. Yeah. All right. And then I'm doing, um, I don't know, show you know what it is by now. Yeah. Yeah. Slowly and slowly more people start oh, showing up to work the show as we get closer to the starting time. Yeah. Um, so, if it's okay with you guys, I'm going to talk a little bit more about why I came to Bradley, what I want to do, and how this is going to all help that. And hopefully, um, if you have any questions, like I said, feel free to write in questions and I'll totally help you. So, like I said, I definitely came to Bradley because of this uh, studio and all the television, you know, connections that they have with that. Um, so yeah, I am a journalism sure. major with an entrepreneurship and social media marketing double minor, and that's because I want to be Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> so um, I want to do a lot of entertainment reporting. I want to do on air. I want to be a producer. I want to do a whole bunch of stuff within the entertainment media realm, um, and being able to do stuff like this 
here on campus, campus is, uh, already is a really like, awesome opportunity so um, and it right. definitely will help you on. when you graduate um, to get a job because you kind of already work at a real news station. Um, in fact, somebody I took a picture of myself on the set and somebody was like, I saw you got a new job, like congratulations. And I was like, well, actually I'm a senior in college still and this is actually a club. So it obviously is very um, impressive and it's so much fun. It doesn't feel like, obviously it's a club, so it's fun. And so if this is what you wanna do the rest of your life, it's fun to get started now. Um, in addition to doing this, you can get involved on campus in so many other things beyond the comm building. Um, I'm the president of the activities council here. I'm in mortar board. I'm, which is like an honor society type of deal. I am, you know, in the CEO, which is the entrepreneurship club. I'm on the student alumni association. So I do a lot of different things and you could do it all and still have time for studying and getting good grades, you know, the purpose of why we're here, but, um, it's lots of fun, but we're almost ready to get positioned for BUTV. Um, so I am going to head back up to my spot and hopefully, hopefully you guys can watch at six. We're going to be, you can watch on YouTube. If you search BUTV News, Bradley University Television News, anything like that, you can find it. Um, they'll link it later on so you guys can watch it. It is live, but also it's safe. So if you didn't get a chance to watch it tonight live, you can watch it a little bit later. Um, so yeah, awesome. Thanks for coming around with me on the studio. I hope that it was fun and you got to see a lot of new things and hope you watch the show.